is it a bull trap this is the thumbnail from our last video if you have watched that video you would understand what does that mean so bulls looks to have really got trapped we got selling in last two days and there was a gap down opening as well so we discussed this chart that nifty will head towards 17800 and this was also a chart from last week we mentioned a up move and then a down move like this so this was the video from last week if you can see here the move was expected like this so it looks to have started so this is just trailer we'll discuss a lot of stuff in detail so stay tuned with our video welcome to the blue billionaire channel so uh, first of all let's understand price action and indicators then we'll check elliott wave and at the end we'll check the option chain as well so here we can clearly see in the price action nifty is trading well below short term and long term moving averages so 13 ema is this nifty has now given the closing again below 13 ema this is a very bearish signal 200 ema is also broken okay it was already near 100 ema and to uh, 48 ema in last week i think we discussed that it is going to go towards uh, these two emas right 48 ema and 100 ema and then it could start the dip that's what we discussed so if you think that EMAs or SMAs don't work, so this is how you should read it and use it in your trading. Again, here RSI is now below 50. So this is considered as again another bearish signal. Right now, the Aaron indicator shows a sideways move, but it's not yet sideways until it goes below. Like this red line should go below 50. Then only we can consider it's a sideways market. Then it won't go anywhere. So right now what I'm expecting next week is it to go like this. So red line should go above 70 again uh, or above uh, near 200 and this green line should drop below 30. That is the signal that extreme bearish market will be coming and we should be dropping more on the downside. So you can see here this was a bearish zone. This was a bullish zone here at extreme around shows the extreme trading side. So from this portion onwards we had a good rally and then we started the drop right so this is how you should read the aron indicator as well so 18000 sorry 17000 18000 we should forget now <laughs> for some time so here we have 17150 support it has taken support multiple times here here okay right and then uh, we we had a support somewhere here as well okay so let me zoom in and you can see clearly the supports that it has taken from multiple times near 17,170, levels. And then we have a support directly at 16,950 levels. So do remember the supports, most likely it is going to drop towards this once it breaks this particular 17,250 level, okay? So if it, that is broken, 100 points on the downside is there and then 950 points we can see on the downside. So that's all on indicator front and uh, let's move to the Elliott wave. So this is our positional view on the Elliott wave, which we are dis discussing since December 10th. We saw here a negative divergence, right? It, against the price and uh, MACD. And we mentioned that this could be ABC correction and we could drop towards 16,700 to 400 levels as ABC correction. And there is a support near 16,400 as well. So this could come like this. Okay, in a five wave sequence, and then we could shoot for third wave rally. So that, uh, that's uh, the rally to catch. Third waves you should always catch. So here we are currently in a downtrend, and it can st still head some more points lower. But again, if it breaks this, okay, if, the, if this is broken, then we'll have to follow more bearish approach. We can even hit 14,300. So most likely this number should not come for the best and uh, uh, I like to see a reversal from this zone without breaking this low of 15,200 something right so and we discussed couple more charts so this was another possibility this possibility al already having now low probability because 17,550 is broken which is 0.6 Fibonacci we should have a pullback from that level then we should have been considered like this a move like this one more high then again a consolidation so this case now has low probability because it has came very close to the low if this is broken 7 16747 
then assume that this case is over we can delete this chart after that so for now we have to keep this chart so these are the couple of previous charts that we discussed a pullback was discussed up to 18300 but the pullback only came up to 18150 even even we discussed this targets as well on 12th feb then we discussed uh, then it made top near 18134 right and then again we discussed 17,853 if broke break if it breaks then we can drop on the downside so uh, same thing happened uh, so now i'm getting more confidence in my analysis and uh, the levels that we give are coming to be coming to the life right so uh, yeah if you like our analysis make sure you add the comments so next part that we discussed is nifty is in third wave right now and it can drop below 17,000, sorry, 16,700 in a third wave. So it might move like this. Then one more level that we have here is uh, 16,000, okay? So it can make a wedge-like pattern like this, okay? So three, four, and five like this, and then could have a move on the upside. So this is how the move can happen. Let's, uh, let's now understand uh, what is going to, uh, what it is going to do in the next week. So this was the previous week chart that we already discussed. So we have only one chart, which is a bearish move. Uh, so don't blame me, the trend is down. So I need to I need to stick with the trend and the bearish trend here looks to be going in a five waves down, right? So this is wave one, this is wave two, this is third wave, fourth, fifth like that. So we will have a larger extension here. So we can see here 2.61 extension at 17,250 again. It should easily cross this in next week. And we have next step near uh, 17,000. So from 17,950, we could expect some bounce because whole numbers like 17,000, 16,000, they don't get break, broken easily. It can fall down uh, 100 or 150 points more, or even we can test this, then we could have a pullback and then we could drop on the downside. So don't worry, the smaller pullbacks will come and uh, the drop should continue on the downside so this was the channel that we drawn right so this is the channel main channel that we drawn so nifty should break this channel in a, a next uh, week's session so that's uh, that's the chart that we discussed right here internally you can see the moves one two three four and five okay then fourth here and fifth going down more right so currently we are in a third wave. So this third wave, we are in a third wave. Okay, so third waves are dangerous and we should be riding that third wave. Okay, uh, so if you are uh, bearish, then you should ride the third wave going down. So he, this wave again was causing confusion. This was a slow channel bound move or you could say uh, inside bar pattern. Okay. So fourth wave inside bar pattern gave. Uh, actually, fourth wave finished at stop somewhere here. Okay, let's check on the chart. I'll switch to 15 minute chart. So this is the end of fourth wave. And then we have leading diagonal pattern here. Okay, until the very end, I was not able to guess this pattern. And at the end, I guessed it, but I didn't carry the position uh, considering it might give a false pullback first up to 17,480 and then could continue the dip, okay? So I wanted to enter here again. I missed uh, to carry the position, but I'm now feeling looking at the global markets, it might open gap down uh, even below this uh, low <laughs> 17,350, sorry, 320, okay? 17,320 somewhere near that, it has made that low. Expect if it opens gap down in Monday session, it to continue the drop on the downside, and there should not be any pullback. So on Monday session itself, it might break this low, 17,255, uh, then give a smaller pullbacks and then continue the dip. So next week pretty much will be bearish and uh, even 17,000 break can happen. So this week is very important for third wave. So third wave should finish in this week itself. So let's pray for 16,950 to come. Now, how I guessed the last, uh, last moves, right? So we were not able to catch the rally, right? So this was the chart from last week where we had a big gap up and this is 
this has broken the previous high right so here you can see right so we broken this high of a wave with big volume so here itself it was a signal that it will head higher towards 17800 but i did not catch it don't worry uh, i don't want to trade the wrong side or abc sometimes or if your analysis is wrong you will be frustrated and you won't be riding this move so it will be very tough to rally entire day because it was very big rally options tripled quadrupled on that same day so that's okay okay but we have a clue for that like we created a video earlier on the gaps so whenever a price breaks the gap with a big resist uh, where there is a big resistance and if the gap up opening happens then the subsequent days we see some gap ups so gap strategy we have a video for that you can watch that video and trust me you will not get such videos anywhere so uh, do let me know in the comments if you watch that video and how do you understand that video so let's move further now and uh, understand how we forecasted the next drop right we even forecasted uh, see from this point onwards we mentioned that nifty will start the dip okay so here there was a shooting star formed here there was shooting star formed okay near 0 0.65 fibonacci which is 17800 so and then we also discussed a pullback okay once it gave a gap down opening here right and then we discussed abc moves happening like this so this is the move okay let me go to the chart so it happened like this abc and then we were sure that once this level is broken we will drop on the downside so let me show you that chart as well we mentioned if nifty breaks 60 17693 it will give these levels 17500 17450 so these levels are already hit okay it came like that so this is how the analysis works with the elliott wave yeah to conclude elliott wave theory do remember the levels that i we discussed 17,150, 170, then 16,950 on the Elliott wave front as well. Even 16,850 is also possible, okay, as per this chart. Okay, here 4.6 Fibonacci extension is there, so third wave should crack this channel and take us down. Okay, so let's move now for the option chain data. So option chain, uh, it's it's very early to conclude anything from option chain, but here you can see we had a good support at 17,400 and this support should get broken on Monday for a dip to continue. If again it closes above 17,400 then there is a chance, there is a slight chance that bulls might hold for some days. Okay, so here clearly we see a resistance uh, 17,700. So 17,500 now is a major resistance. Okay, after 18,000. So 18,000 is too far away for this expiry of 16th March, but 17,500 has higher, second highest fall open interest. So it's most likely that Nifty won't go beyond this 17,500, even if it opens flat or a gap up, it should witness a selling at the opening itself. So if it opens near 17,470 uh, levels, then do expect it to continue the dip. So do watch first 15 minutes candle high low break okay so first 15 minute candle wherever it is formed whether it opens gap up or gap down then there is a chance of drop on the downside if it breaks the low okay so make sure you watch the first 15 minutes high and low break to consider the trend of the day in a bearish day it always breaks the first 15 minutes low and then the trend continues or it goes sideways just like it happened on uh, just like it happened on last friday right it opened gap down okay then first 15 minute low was broken it gave a sharp move of uh, almost i think 50 points and then it started the pullback okay and then went sideways so this happens always whenever there is a gap down or gap up so first 15 minute candle gives you the idea on the option chain front we know that 17500 is resistance what is the support so currently it's 17300 i think that's why 17300 400 levels important nifty played around this made me or uh, traders intraday who were holding put intraday or you could say swing traders who were holding puts it traded in a range and made us exit exit from the position no worries on monday we can decide based on first 15 minutes 
and this support once it gets broken we have a next support at 17,000 right obviously it will be the number uh, whole numbers are major supports actually okay so you, if this is broken then expect it to head towards 16,800 as well okay so whenever the major support gets broken it might give 100 or 100 or 200 points drop initially then it might pull back some points let's say 17,000 to 17,150 and then the dip will continue so this is how the option chain can behave as well so right now 17,000 and 17,500 is a range for this expiry apart from that uh, we have a max pain at 17,400 and according to PCR this is showing bearish signal implied volatility for options is uh, low and it is still lower than ATM options so option buyers here have advantage option sellers do not have a good advantage as volatility has also increased so this is how the option chain data looks hope you understand and support us with likes and subscribes uh, to our channel and do add the comments of what do you think for the next week thanks for watching see you next time bye bye